right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property home tour. If this is your first time tuning in to this channel, my name's Chuck, it's Cruz Watt with Simply Vegas, licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So today I am back at it again. We're gonna check out this neighborhood, check out this property by TriPoint. Now, if you guys haven't seen the first video home tour of the Plan 24 Arrow Peak, you gotta check this one out. However, I think by far this is my favorite model for a couple of reasons. Now there's a couple of things I don't like about it, so we're gonna go over that together. But first and foremost, okay, we are located over here in the northwest of the Las Vegas Valley. Kyle Cannon and the 95. I'm talking about the last neighborhood. So this is a brand new uh, community that they are building out here. And the name of this uh, neighborhood is called Kyle Point. Now, Kyle Point has TriPoint Homes and also KB Homes. Now, uh, this neighborhood right here, this is a guard, I'm sorry, this is a gated neighborhood that has two different communities. The community is Alpine Ridge and also Arrow Peak. We have done also video home tours on Alpine Ridge in the past. We sold multiple models, gorgeous homes. I love the plan too on this one. This is my favorite one. Now, we're gonna be focusing on the Arrow Peak. Now, with the Arrow Peak, right, this plan one here, okay, features only 2,017 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bath with a two car garage. This is a single story home, okay? Now, there are homes out there, and I've had this uh, question asked to me all the time, hey, I want a very large home, you know, however, ask them what the square footage they want, they want like 3,000 square feet. Now, this is the only home that I've seen, okay, 2,000 square feet, the floor plan is laid out correctly to the point where the home feels a lot larger than it really is. And it's unbelievable, the floor plan on here. So this is my favorite floor plan as far as the square footage. The elevation, we have three different elevations here, about seven different color schemes. This elevation right here kinda sucks. I don't like it. Here's why, because number one, it's kinda a little bit modern here, right? You got a front pitch here, right? And then we have like these tiles, like Spanish type of tile. So now if I was gonna buy this home, I would not pick this elevation because this elevation sucks. So let me know in the comments below if you like uh, this elevation because I don't. However, uh, one thing is uh, we went to go take a look at the plan two. We couldn't go inside the garage because it was actually locked. Here we have access to the garage. And the reason why I wanna go in the garage is because I wanna see what the garage has to offer, okay? So let's get access into this garage here. So as you can see, a uh, couple things. We have the Rainbird system that comes with it. Now they do have the new Rainbird system. This right here, okay, is more of a manual, okay? Oh, it already has a built-in Wi-Fi. Never mind, this is the new one. I'm tripping, folks. My bad. Wrong box. So they do have the new box with the Wi-Fi built in, so I do like that, so good job on this. Here, look at this. We have the 220, okay, for your Tesla. Then, this doesn't count right here. This is a analog, right, for your sprinkler system. They're gonna get rid of that. But most importantly, I couldn't get into the other one. I wanted to see exactly uh, the tankless water heater and they do have this. On this one, what I like about this is they have the scale cutter, okay? This is actually a water conditioning system for like thin materials, okay? Or not materials, um, what is it called? Like calcium and all that stuff. It's like minerals. There you go, that's the word I'm looking for. The temperature, according to code, is 120, the highest you can go. Every once in a while, you do want to flush this right here. As you can see, it is flushing. Okay, now, one thing I want you to do is that, as you can see, the main line here comes into here, kind of filters it through, gets rid of all that minerals, comes up to here. Now, you see this right here, okay? One thing I would probably do is, believe it or not, with a tank water heater, you have that calcium build out, you should be flushing it out, and I'm guilty of this, I have not done mine since I bought it, and I think I should. 
because those things run like 1800 bucks. You should always connect the hose here, okay? When you connect the hose here, make sure to turn off this valve first, all right? You turn off the valve, connect the hose, turn back on the main water line, let it filter all the way through, okay? Reason why you're gonna do this and kill this hot water is because you wanna flush all that stuff out, okay? You wanna do that probably once a year. Now this one is pretty much all tricked out with all these LED lights, you're not gonna get that, okay? And typically the drywall, okay, should be textured in paint, okay? Now, some builders won't do it. This builder will. Here we have, look at this. What is this? Well, all the yellow PVC or orange PVC, this is for your sprinkler system. Your PSI is about 80 pounds per pressure, right? Per square inch. And it goes throughout your whole house. Now, you also may want to flush that, but have the fire department handle that. The texture here is sprayed very heavy. Reason why builders will do this on a heavy texture is so that way they can hide the blemishes on the exterior of the property. All right, so let's take a look at this. First thing I've noticed, where's the door? The door's on the side. However, I don't like homes that don't have the door on the front side for like safety purposes. However, this has a beautiful large courtyard area and the way it's designed, I've never seen anything like this here. I mean, as you walk in, you have your own privacy. Now, one thing I would probably do, honestly, if I could get permission from the HOA, right? You order this gate, but I would have my gate here higher to cover this and another fence going along this way. So that way I just feel more secure, but you definitely need some security cameras Okay, that's what I would do. But take a look at all this open space. This is just such a very unique layout. And they've done such a great job of indoor, outdoor living. Number one thing I see right here, I love what they did with the tile. Okay, they staggered it, right? And also they cut the synthetic grass. However, if you guys have pets, this probably wouldn't be any good, okay? Now, I love this metal box here too as well for the uh, plants. But as you can see, again, this tile does not do it for me. And I love the fact that we have an entry point to the backyard. Now, you're wondering, what is this? Well, this is just a swing, which is kind of creative, right? So what I like about this is, this home is really made to entertain, and the fascinating thing is it's only 2,000 square feet. 2,000 square feet. All right, so let's take a look at through the front entry door. We got the ring doorbell. We got the um, keypad here. Electronic, boom. Just go like that. Now, as we enter the property, take a look at this floor plan. Completely open, okay? Primary here on the back side, the additional two rooms back over here. Now, let's go through this thoroughly. On this one right here, we have orange peel texture on the walls, straight edge cornering, kind of give that modern feel. Uh, four inches on the straight edge on the baseboards. I prefer six to give that more custom look. <clears throat> then we have the LVP on the flooring here, which is a nice tone, earthly tone. And I love the colors here. It's Warm, inviting, it's mascul masculine, it's modern, right? I love it. So the color tones are great, great design. So let's walk back here. Let's see what we have. We'll start off with the bedroom back here, okay? Bedrooms are gonna be about 11 by 12. Couple things with the uh, bedroom here. We do have the corner windows and I love this linear uh, window. Then we have the shades, okay? There are a bunch of companies out there like Douglas, Hunter Douglas or Huntus, or Douglas Huntus, whatever it's called. Douglas Hunter or Hunter Douglas. You can actually get these battery operated through a remote, which is kind of cool. And it shuts down the shades. Here we have the four can lighting and the pre-wire. So they threw some money into this model, into the spec. Great job. 
Now, there's one thing that I've seen on the spec, I've just noticed, and this is something that you just need to be aware of, and these things are very easy to clean, is the paint finishings. Now, within, when it comes to orange peel, orange peel is very hard to cut. When I say cut, the cut means when you are painting, you're taking a brush and you're cutting the line so straight, like you're cutting it like a knife, right? That's the terms. Now, if you take a look on this dual paint window here, okay, on this aluminum, oh, actually, I'm sorry, the, the, I was going to say fiberglass, not fiberglass, I lost my train of thought, uh, thought, PVC, or not PVC, oh my God, help me out, guys, it's like, I've been doing this for years, and I just have a brain fart, but anyway, take a look at the cut, the cut is not completely straight, however, the real way to do this is if you take tape, lay down the tape, after you lay down the tape, you take some caulking, put it down, let it dry, paint it, rip it off, you have the straightest line you can ever get. Now, let's talk about some dual uh, pane windows. What I love about these dual pane windows is, okay, unfortunately I can't open it, right? So you have two glass, right? The first glass takes in the heat and absorbs it. By the time it gets to the second glass, it's a lot cooler, okay? Now, how do you test out if it works? If this actually opened up, all right, next time you, you go to your house, open it up, stick your hand on the outside and put your hand against the glass. You can feel how hot it is. Then you put your hand in front of it and you can see how cool it is. This stuff actually really works. It's very impressive, okay? All right, six to eight on the doors. However, I would do eight foot doors. Now we have 36 inches on the cabinets here you do have an option for a second sink i would always do a second sink high cabinets upgraded on the delta brush bronze it looks like okay rocker switch is a little bit crooked this tends to happen a lot with the rocker switch uh, all you got to do is take it typically you can just move it up and push this one down a little bit like that or just kind of unscrew it and get that thing leveled okay you got the aqua tub shower combo if I had to just do the standard, that's what I would do, okay? Let me readjust this gimbal here. All right. They upgraded on the handles, then we have additional closet space. All right, coming into the second room. Second room, they turned this into a gym, however, Oh, should I do a couple? Hold on, guys. I'm intrigued. Just seen this. Hang tight. Should I do one pull-up for you guys? If I can do a pull-up, you guys are going to subscribe to the channel, all right? Here we go. Chat or email. Whatever's most convenient for you. Are you thinking about purchasing your new home online? Or are you relocating and don't have time to visit? Let's look together to find the neighborhood and floor plan that fits your lifestyle. We want to learn about your wish list for your neighborhood. Uh, yes. Then I did it. We can use our model walkthrough tours, interactive floor plan. I actually kind of felt good. I haven't gone to the gym for probably about like six, seven days. And the reason why is because I had this like sinus thing going on to the point where like the weekend, uh, Friday, like Saturday and Sunday, I was like literally out. I had like so much pressure in my nose. I literally had like a headache. It was just driving me crazy. Okay, not bad. Let's open this up. So they upgraded on the shelves here. Now this is something that you can do on your own. You can get Lowe's, Home Depot, and I feel like it's a lot cheaper that way. However, if you're looking for a custom uh, closet, right? Clus custom shelves, you wanna do the epoxy and the flooring, you want some blinds, contact my girl Pat with closets, uh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Let her know that uh, you've seen the uh, commercial and uh, that's how you're going to receive your discount. You do have the option of adding a sink. However, these two washer, this washer and dryer is just too big for these rooms. I would rather do a top load. This feels like dead space here. Okay. Oh, did we look at this? Closet space? Oh, smart panel box. Now, if you're gonna 
have a home that's equipped with a bunch of electronics, make sure you have a exhaust fan here as well. So that way your components don't get overheated and now you start the lag, okay? Let's take a look at this beautiful kitchen here. I love this kitchen. However, what sucks is we have a seam down the middle. There's really nothing that you can do because typically the slabs are 12 by six and that's the biggest that you can get. Well, this one is probably, could have did one slab, honestly, but looks like they cut it down the middle. I mean, it is what it is, okay? So this one is more kind of a gray tone. I love the uh, toe kicks on here. Kind of gives that more modern type. Now these are just, you know, standard shaker cabinets. Now, I no longer like shaker cabinets. Everybody's using them. And it's like, it's, it's starting to become out of style at this point with the countertops, okay? Now, we have the 42 upper cabinets. I believe it comes standard with like the maple cabinets, okay? And at this point, you're kind of forced to upgrade with all this, right? I mean, it is what it is. Oh no, bad call. This is something I would not do, especially if you are a cook, right? Take a look at this backsplash. This thing is gonna turn brown, gritty, and so ugly. No matter if you seal this thing, and if you do seal this thing, you're gonna change the shine on here. So this is just a bad product. This is a product I would not use on my backsplash. So just to let you know, Okay, for all my cooks out there, do not get this. It is bad, 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 okay? Now, let's take a look. A home at this price point, we didn't talk about the price point. Oh my God, I should've gave you guys the base price. Now, <coughs> the price point on this home here, <coughs> should we use dovetails? The answer is no. You will not get your money back. However, the cabinets is fine, right? You don't need side glides or the undermounted glides or the dovetails for a home like this. Please do not do that. <coughs> Spend your money somewhere else. Now let's go back to the price. Base price, 535,000. Plan A, plan B, 35, uh, 535,000 for plan B. Plan C, 540 for the base price, okay? How do you uh, typically know that this is a tri-point home? Because tri-point is the only one that runs their electrical outlets linear. That's correct, folks. Now, let's take a look here at your pantry. Pantry is actually a decent size. I love the pantry size for a 2,000 square foot home, okay? We do have the cafe package appliances, okay? These are gonna be more of your upscale appliances versus the GE appliances. Now, there's a couple upgrades here. We have the RO system, okay? Then we have our garbage disposal. This is for your air, okay? So when you push this down, you're pushing air into a little small little transformer, 12 volts, to signal to turn on the garbage disposal. Here is your overflow for your uh, dishwasher, okay? Now, this right here is something that you need to be aware of. When you are picking, picking your fixtures, okay, not all fixtures will match depending on the brand. This should be a touch right here, okay? So as you can see, do these two match? No, because this is a different brand from this Delta, okay? So just something to be aware of. Now let's take a look at this beautiful slide. Standard, you would have two windows. One upgrade that you can do is one six foot slide and one window, or a center 12 foot slide, as this shows right here. Now this is probably something I would do because this really opens up, you're bringing the outside into your home. This home is made to entertain. I love the center, uh, what is this? Dining room table, right? And the architectural design of this pitch here, as we know, the center is here. And basically, this is kind of like where your payload is for the home, okay? This would be the standard option, the nice eight foot slide here. These are uh, vinyl slides, okay? <coughs> backyard is a decent size. Unfortunately, they locked the backyard, we can't go outside. So this, oh, wood aluminum, patio 
you have the option with this builder to add this stuff. Now, the backyard comes plain, bare dirt. However, you can see what the potential is with your backyard. Now, let's go take a look at this living room area. This is where we're going to be spending most of our time watching some TV here. I believe you can add a 50-inch linear fireplace here. You do have your two and two. Those outlets look a little bit generic for some apparent reason. Never seen that before. Must be something a little bit different, okay? Now, if you notice here, this is probably a 65 inch TV. With this wall, okay? This wall is kind of small for that, honestly. This little pop out, it just looks very strange. The TV overtakes this little feature wall. So you may have to go with a smaller TV. Now, you do have an option to add a outlet or floor outlet here. That's something I would do. If not, Whatever. look what happens. You add a lamp here, now you gotta run a cord down here, and it just looks janky. If you guys know what janky is, you pretty much know your age, or you may know my age. Okay. Now let's take a look at this area right here. Technically, this is called a flex space. This is an option, okay, what is the option? This wall would be up, all this would be gone, but you have the option to add this bar area, okay? Now, if you don't wanna add and pre-plumb this, that's fine, you can also just add this. I would just do this, I would do my own pre-plumb, okay? Get the name of the manufacturer of the cabinet. These are just regular standard shaker cabinets, and I can get this for a fraction of the cost, okay? Now, if you guys are looking to rehab your property, you know, there are a lot of vendors out here where you can get pricing for like wholesale, and the pricing is very cheap. Now, HOAs are only $74 a month. Now, the bedroom here is a pretty decent size, not bad, okay? For the uh, master, or I'm sorry, not the master, the primary. So we have a king size bed, uh, nightstands here, probably about four feet here. So it's a pretty large um, room. However, if you guys are interested in this product, make sure to reach on out to my guy, Jonathan, the sales guy here. Let him know that you work with Chuggets so that way we can get you the best discount as possible. That I'm your agent representing you on this deal. So standard is gonna be <clears throat> Tub, shower, they did the spa here. However, one thing that I would have done was taken this all the way to the end, cladded all this up, okay? Get rid of the door and literally have a walk-in because now this is a little bit short. See, imagine just taking this all the way to here. This you just leave open and it's just a walk-in from here. I don't know why they didn't do that. And for me, it's okay to have this window here the shower, because it doesn't matter. I'm still showering here, but then you have that additional space. It feels bigger. Let me know in the comments below. Am I making a bad decision by doing that? Here, again, we have the cabinets, the mirrors, beautiful. Then we have our walk-in closet. Walk-in closet, it's a pretty decent size. Can't complain. However, what I've noticed is that as you get older, you start accumulating more clothes, Matter of fact, I gotta go through all my clothes. And I have like bed sets, treadmills and all that stuff that I wanna get rid of. Now, one thing I don't like here is, <clears throat> if you wanna make this more of a custom, right? This transition, I would get rid of this transition and I would actually see if I can float this LVP and this 12 by 24 on the tile where it's completely flush and add a clear schluter or a gray schluter all the way across versus having this little transition, this ramp because it just looks so ugly. So these are these little attention to details. These are things that you can actually do to really make your home that much more custom. All right, guys. Now, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel, okay? Now, another thing. If you guys see me out in Vegas, please do not hesitate to say what's up, because. There's been a couple of times now, a few days, where people are kind of like shy to like say what's up, you know, and when I have a conversation with them, they're like, oh, I'm just kind of like embarrassed. Look, guys, don't be embarrassed, okay? If you want to say what's up to me, I'm like the coolest dude on planet Earth. In addition to that, honestly, inside, I'm actually more excited myself.
You guys don't know how much that means to me. Also, if you guys know anybody that's looking to buy or looking to sell, right, let me know. I would definitely love to earn their business. This is how we make a living. Also, uh, don't forget to tune in every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time of the LV Home Experts Podcast where we talk about real estate and financing, okay? Also, check out our link in the description below if you want the standing inventory list of homes. Fill out <clears throat> right, the information. Then one of our sales team agents will contact you within 24 hours or we'll send you out an email asking what you're really looking for. Bedrooms, bathrooms, because here's the thing. We have over 100 something standing inventory properties just like this that the builders want to liquidate for the fourth quarter. Look, that is the best time to buy. Deals are there. However, I'm not going to send you my whole list of 100 something homes when you're only looking for a $600,000 home. All right, guys, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. I really do. I wish you guys nothing but success and blessings, okay? What goes around comes around. All right, guys, be blessed, folks. If you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.